who here played this? Isn't there like music here? There it is. Remember this game? I have a copy of this game on GameCube, and on the top of it, it's like pre-owned and like a price tag for forty-five dollars. And every time I see that, I remember that I bought this game like pre-owned, like the week it came out. I remember I paid forty-five dollars for this game. Five dollars less than MSRP or whatever. Um, that was probably a mistake. This is probably not a game that's worth forty-five dollars. That being said, it is a pretty cute little game. It's it's really fun to play with your friends. Let's look at the options. We've got movies. We've got delete data. Oh, LAN! Oh my god, I can't even imagine. This is like one of three games that could use the GameCube's LAN at all. I can't even... That's so weird to think about. You could hook up like four GameCubes. And you could have like four screens. And you could all be playing Aerod across four screens. That's so weird. I wonder if any fucking person did that. Imagine how fucking strange it would be to have like a GameCube and this game and then to go over to your friend's house and he also has a GameCube in this game and you bring your GameCube in this game and then you fucking hook your two GameCubes up with a fucking ha uh, uh, LAN and then you hook it up to two different fucking TVs. Why don't you just play split screen? Um, so the really big thing in this game, I feel, is the checklist, but let's ignore that for a minute. I don't need tutorials. The interesting thing about this game is that it can actually be played with one button. This game is a one-button game. Wee. Get bodied, mothers. Ooh. It's been a little while since I played this. Damn, I'm getting owned by these Kirby's. Ah! The Scarfy. This appears to be a bit faster. Oh, look at all that damage. This is the one level where the default lap setting is uh, 3. And all of the levels it's 2. I guess this level was really short. I think I can get a checkbox for killing 10 enemies with spin attack, but I don't know if I can do that while I've got sword. I think there's another checkbox for killing enemies with... Whoa! Where'd these guys come from? I right, get sleep and then cross the... That's a checkbox. Crossing the finish line with a sleep on, I think. Yay, I won my first race by a very small margin. Alright, let's see what we got. Finish in first place with the sleep ability. So let's actually look at the checkboxes, because this might be what I'm doing for the next hour or so. A um, whole bunch of blank spots. And then if you get a checkbox, then you can see the adjacent checkbox requirements. So I did three laps in under 120, which is apparently a Chivo. Checker Knights, finish one lap in under 120 in free run. Air Ride, finish in first place while taking damage. Checker Knights, break at least two walls and finish in first place. Swallow Wheelie, motorcycle enemy, three times or more and take first place. One lap another 102 with Turbo Star. I seem to recall that being one of the harder ones. Swerves, that's really fun. Beanstalk Park. Um, I didn't actually get the Flight Star, so I'm going to get that right now. Okay, one. A nice one lap. Let's change my Kirby color. I want to be a nice yellow Kirby. Yeah, this game has extremely nice little momentum mechanics. So there's a very easy craft to get um, that I really wouldn't mind having. I think you slow down for doing that. I didn't even kill the enemy. Going directly behind someone speeds you up. Um, well, 
I think I got it. Okay. That was while taking damage. I needed that one. But I finished the... I crossed the finish line while uh, midair. Mm. Mm. So sometimes the boxes are red. And if the box is red, um, it means it gives you a prize. And the prize for being midair... It's the Flight Star, which is actually one of my favorite stars. This one's not so good on the ground, but it's incredibly fucking fast midair. I think this is a checkbox right here. Just using this at all. Yeah. That little noise is the sound of me getting an a achievement thing. The crowd. They were impressed. This thing uses rails fast, too. Nice. You can't fly forever, so it's important to touch the ground in, in places where you can immediately take off again. I wonder if there's a Chiba for using both of those rails individually. The Flight Star might actually be the fastest star for this track. Unfortunately, the balance between the, uh, the crafts, the stars, is not super duper amazing. The Swerve Star is really, really, really good. And this was one of the better ones, I suppose. I might actually get sub, uh... Sub, sub, uh... One minute here. Looking like it. Woo. Sakurai probably worked on this, yeah. Alright, what'd I get? I got several. I'll tell you that. Wagon Star, we got White Kirby, and we got a free box. So now we can see a whole bunch of things that I can theoretically do. We got Time Attack and Free Run. Ooh, that's really fast. I don't know if I can do that with all my things. So I've started good for almost every track. I can't think of, like, there are only, like, two tracks where it's not the best one. Fucking slick star, that thing's ass. Shoot three characters out of a cannon at one time. Glide for more than 30 minutes. I'm pretty sure that's the one that gives you Meta Knight. Have fun with that. I feel like these are rather tactically placed next to each other. Um, so I could theoretically just donk this on one of these. I think it has to be one that I can actually read the requirements of, though. How do I change this vehicle? That's how. This music. So this one can't charge around turns, but it has just good all-around stats. It's very fast. Got a natural 25. Whoa. It can't glide either. It can only just jump. Some vehicles can glide, some jump. I guess I could eat a wheelie bike. Or not. Should be using my spin attack more. It didn't automatically activate the button. I thought this was a vehicle that touches the ground, but I guess it doesn't. The wheelie bikes all touch the ground. Yeah. So they activate things on the ground automatically. There's a Chiba for destroying all those, I think. 
Nice. Music's really cool. The stages are kind of fun. I usually am not crazy about racing games, but racing games with nice collectible elements I usually find okay. An enemy rather close to me. trying to spin attack enemies. So the only button in this game is um is the button that touches the ground. Is that all of them? I couldn't tell. Vroom vroom. I got some pretty fast times. I see what we got. Even at the beginning you're just kind of just trying to do levels. I got the swerve star. Nice. I'm officially in business. Um, this is like the best vehicle in the game. Let's be white Kirby. This one has a really, really fast top speed, but can't turn. And has instant acceleration. They can only turn midair. So you have to stop in order to turn. But it still ends up being insanely good. You just have to be rather precise with your angles. There's a whale going around these um, tracks, and I always thought that was like the coolest shit. Can't explain it. Whoa, I wanna. I, I might need all of those. There might be a Chivo for getting all those. Swerve Star's so stupid. Like the fact that it can't turn is not that big of an issue. Because it's turning is really fast while it's stopped, it actually ends up letting you take really, really tight corners that other vehicles can't easily take. Can't use boost very well though, but that's mitigated by the fact that it's basically always boosting. It's really fast. I got a natural cruise speed of like 31. Nice. Didn't count for some reason. That whale! Fucking windfish. It might actually be the windfish, that's the cool part. Nice. Gotcha, bitch. I have no HP, so I don't care about getting swiped. Didn't hit him. The Scarfy, watch out. Alright, what we got? Two laps in under 220 in air ride. This is one where a flight vehicle is quite good. If I had the Jet Star, I might use it. Yo, this music though. I'm pretty sure there's a there's a checkbox from using every single uh, boost in this level, which is something that I could do. Oh, this thing can't fly for shit. Oh my god, help! I don't know which one's which. I took one of the low ones. No, I took one of the high ones. Alright, use that. I've used most of the boosts. There's like four though in the... I don't know if I can still come in first place. I don't know if you need to come in first place. There's four on the bottom. 
And the other Kirby's actually seem relatively good at keeping up with me. Alright, we know for a fact that you can just change Kirby's color by spraying spray paint onto him. Been established quite quite definitively. I wonder if the main I wonder if there is a main I wonder if the main Kirby is at any in any way involved in this game. Ow. I'm not even sure I'll come in first anymore. Let alone, like, fuck these these arrows. Oh, taking damage from one of those guys is a uh, checkbox, too. I don't actually know if that sp speeds you up at all to take those. A glitch happened where one of the ten, one of the shells you get from the shack by getting ten shells was never given to me. What? The game? Are you are you saying 100% like getting all shells? Because there's like 30 shells in the game, dog. One, you don't even need all the secret seashells to like beat the game, although you do need it for the sword. But two, um, this a. Uh, there's, although there's missable shells, there's an excess of shells. All shells. Does the game even keep track of your shells once you get the sword? The shells just turn into... You can't even, you can't even get all shells, can you? I thought the, sh the shells just turned into rupees if you already had, like, the sword. I think taking both routes is um, uh, a checkbox. What are you doing, Kirby? Lost so much time with that shit. I don't actually know if it's faster to take the top or bottom. The song, pretty fucking nice. But still not as good as uh, Checker Knights. One of the missions is to cross the finish line of a level while the bird. Bird transformation. Bird power. And I think I remember doing that on this level. I actually want to ride this thing. That guy, he's got the Swerve Star too, and he's actually keeping up with me really nicely. I wanted to ride that. God damn it. I might not catch up with him. God, I caught up with him. Victory. Alright, what do I get? E. I got two separate checkboxes for um, finishing laps quickly. Sort of star is absolutely definitively the best in this level. Yo, this song is cool. This fucking level is cool. I had a really fast time. Oh shit. Could be whoa, that could not be worse. Um with this particular vehicle on this level. That song though. The Gordos.
don't know which way is faster. Easier if I'm gliding to do micro adjustments to my aiming. Okay, all the other Kirby's are like way behind me. This is a Metroid reference? I don't know. I don't see it quite frankly. Okay, good enough. You don't want to grab the edges because that makes it a lot slower in that room. But you do want to make it through. Metroid and Kirby definitively happened in the same universe, dude, no doubt in my mind. Alright, what was the time I was supposed to beat? Because I did pretty well. Mm, I didn't do it. It might have been time attack, though. Checkered Knights. I got a... I got a... You hear that noise? I got a checkbox for even entering this level, which is probably the checkbox for entering all levels. That might be the one that unlocks the last level. Broke. This is like the best vehicle for breaking shit too. This is just the best vehicle in like every way. Killing enemies speeds you up just a little bit. This is an appropriate final level. However, it's not the actual final level. Dun, 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 dun. I remember one of the hardest checkboxes is doing this level really, really fast with uh, the Warp Star. Like the basic vehicle. And I remember thinking it was like impossible and then I, I buckled down and I did it. I've done 100 checkboxes in this game. I've done 120 checkboxes. But only ever for Air Ride. Never for City Trial or Top Ride. I feel like I could do it for City Trial and I would probably have a little bit of fun. But I wouldn't... I don't care to do it for um, Top Ride. And because I don't care to do it for top ride, I see no reason to do it for all three, because I know I'm not going to do it for at least one of them. 360 checkboxes sounds kind of fun, but just that entire thing about top ride. Shadow Star. I could get that one fairly easily. It's the one you get from killing 10 enemies with spin attacks. I'm probably like right on the cusp of getting it. Nice. Or maybe it's hit 10 other Kirby's with spin attacks. Either way, that'd be very easy to grind for. You can jump off that little edge and then go over that wall. Rather precise. Like how you can spin Kirby. Ooh, someone pulled that up. Whew. The Shadow Star is for the most part just a worse version of the Flight Star. But it has a stronger spin attack, which is kind of cool. Uh, let's see what we got. Okay, I got a green Kirby. I got the Slick Star. I got the Wheelie Bike. Uh, I still didn't unlock the final level. Well, I know how to get... Um, let's let's get four Dum Dums. Um, and let's get them on nice, slow vehicles. This will be fine. I know how to get uh, the Wheelie Bike. I remember that one. The wheelie scooter, rather. If you just do every level quickly, um, on time attack, on uh, race, air ride, and on uh, free run, um, 
you'll get like 80% of the checkboxes in the game. Alright, so I need to enter the final lap in last place. And then win. I don't even know if I can do that. Ah, uh, yeah. Cut it a little fine there. Fortunately, I've made the Kirby's Dum Dums. And also the Redding vehicles that are not so great for this level. I'm still not sure I can win, though. It's gonna be close. Oh, God. Did I get it? I didn't hear the noise. There you go. I got something. Yeah, wheelie scooter. It's actually my favorite vehicle. Um, let's try one of the other modes, because there's three. So this is Top Ride. Top Ride is more like a mini game and less like a... Less like a racing game. Whoa. I'm just controlling it like the, the other star. Whoa. It's weird. Whichever direction I hold is the direction I move. It's not like left to turn left, right to turn right. But there is a vehicle that does that. And they're the only two vehicles in top ride. I can see how people would find this fun. But this is like the worst mode. It's cute. I guess I'll do every level once. I'm on my final lap. It's seven laps for each level, I think. Yeah. I finished first five seconds faster than number two. So let's try the other vehicle. Yeah, there we go. That feels more natural. Whoa, it's gone. Wow, the fucking ant lion. I'm in second. I'm in third? Someone's like a whole lap behind. The golem over there. You can take that corner super tight, but if, if too many people do it, it sinks. The little power ups, too. Okay, that red guy is the guy who's in first. And now I'm in first, sort of. I don't even remember ever seeing that before. Yeah, bitch. That was an invincible candy. I win. It was close, though. This ain't so easy. Yeah, the jump. This level's fun. This is one of my favorites. Oh shit. Help. Help. This is this is so GG, dude. Oh my god, this is beyond GG. What just happened? I'm still okay. It's just ugly. I caught up. Somehow. These levels are very cutely and cleverly designed. A lot of care and attention went to this mode. Just like it's the least interesting. That booster. Slow down, bitch. Got a bomb. Kapow. Got a bunch of bombs. Um, I just haven't touched it in a really, really long time. Oh, the level names though. Grass, sand, sky. This one's fire. Neither vehicle is faster in this mode. So, um although I guess you technically have a little bit more control over the free star. Um So it doesn't really matter 
uh, what vehicle you pick. So the comms are always set to being the free star, I think. It's the free star and the steer star. There's little little shit that you can do in each level too. I don't remember what there is in this level. But like um there's like walls you can bump and then like stuff falls down on people. Or like, you know, things you can access. I think I just won. I call the Kirby's have different faces. This is my actual favorite level. So these these little uh, arrows that show up in this level. And if you ride the arrows, um, you get shortcuts. Ow. God damn it. Yeah. Oh, fuck. Okay, cool. So I'm like a full lap ahead of the other guys now. Squeak Squad. I like Squeak Squad a lot, but most people seem to dislike it, and I can't fathom why. I think it's very fun. Why do I start in last? This is a nice swervy level. Oh, party ball. Forgot that was even an item. You can kind of tell this was by the makers of Smash. Oh, great. I gotta wait. Something about it. The items just going everywhere. The fucking competitive the competitiveness of it. Oh I got a booster. But also like the you know the hecticness of it. The sheer amount of shit that like you can't control. Just chilling everywhere. Last one. This one's cool. This is one of the better ones. There's like three really good and four really mediocre um, races. Oh, this song though. I just started some fans. Ah, fuck. Oh shit. Gotta pay close attention to the way the gears are spinning. Oh fuck. No help. I'm so done. I could have gotten that invincibility. Oh fuck. Help. I got a good power up though. Alright, we good. The fans make this really fun. Out of my way, bitch. Oh, did I... I think I came in second, yeah. Damn. I didn't get shit. No checkboxes at all. Only five on that stage. I thought that was, you know... So was it five, six, seven? Okay, so it's different per stage. Um, yeah, you should probably still go. Hold on, I'm gonna take a leak, then I'm gonna do a city trial, I suppose.
here I am. Um, City Trial can be played with one player. That's really wild. I don't need a tutorial. Ah, yes, the Compact Star. Five minutes is fine. City Trial is a really fun mode. This is the thing that, like, sold copies of the game, basically. So you're in a city, and there's just items lying around. This one's weight. Um, and if you pick up the items, they increase the stats you have. So I just got defense and top speed, and that's charge. So now I move a little bit faster. And also there's vehicles sitting around. There's an apple. I've got a health bar, so my vehicle can be destroyed, which is a bit scary. Um... Oh, there's vehicles sitting around, and you can change vehicles. So the objective is to go around looking for, whoa, boxes. I don't care about green. Find boxes, find items, and potentially you can go around killing the other Kirby's. And if you kill the other Kirby's, you know, they lose the nice vehicles that they've gotten up until this point. And there's just a whole bunch of exploring you can do. There's a lot of shit around here. The compact star you start with isn't very good. Not great stats. But it is extremely versatile. It's basically a, a smaller, shittier uh, warp star. Is good. I don't have it yet, but there is a mode you can get where if you hit start it shows you all the things you've gathered. The black ones make your stats go down. There's a formula star, which is something I haven't even unlocked in the main mode yet. Boost is good. Oh shit, he whacked me. You see that? If you whack other players, they drop stuff. And then you can steal their stuff. You can see my HP taking a jump. All the items are kind of fun. There's a Swerf Star. It's very wounded. I'm taking my life into my hands even getting into this bitch. So now I need to go find some food, hopefully. Nice. Steel course, you're ready to go but can't. I don't know what that means. That's a lot of food. So most of the time's actually already out. How the time flies. I didn't want the Gordo. Oh, the Gordo's like the worst one. Oh, there's a box here. Hello. It's a piece of the Hydra. Cool. So the Hydra is floating around somewhere. It's possible that one of the other Kirby's is on the process of getting it. I think I just... No, I still got my piece. Sleep. I might be able to gather the Hydra, but it's going to be difficult. There's a red box over there. The red boxes contain Hydra pieces. Or sometimes they do. There's one. Oh, this is exciting. Am I gonna build the Hydra in my first, um, in my first, uh, city trial? The Hydra's damn good. So people who didn't play this game, uh, building the Dragoon from Smash comes from this game. The Dragoon and the Hydra can only be, um, ow. Okay, I kept my two pieces. You can lose your pieces if you take damage. Um... The Dragoon and the Hydra can only be acquired in uh, in City Trial, and you have to get three pieces to build them. And it ain't easy getting the three pieces. I don't have that much time left. It's possible the last piece belongs to another Kirby. It's not looking good for my chances of finding them all. Could be that one. Oh, it's blue. Uh, I kind of want that. Okay. 
I don't have much time. That could be it. It's not. Fuck! I, I really need that box to be it. Please? Damn. Not, not the run. I've got a pretty good little thing, so... Literally couldn't be better for me. Ew. So this ends up being, you have races, um, but there's a lot of different things that you can end up doing. Like there's a versus DDD. There's a, um, wow, why, what is his top speed? Why is he going so fast? Holy shit. Dude is fucking rocketing. I should have paid close attention to their stats. He's on a wagon star. And his top speed must just be through the roof because he's fucking going so quick. Holy shit, he already won. That was fast. Only one checkbox isn't very good at all. Oh yeah, I forgot you can have negatives. I just kind of willingly grabbed that to see if there's something behind it. Being able to get out of your vehicle is really cool. It's exclusive to this mode. Time bomb. It's not even, it's a proximity bomb. Damn it. It's fine. There's a lot of shit here. There's actually like a whole bunch of stuff you can go to and do. Alright, please be a... I want to put together a vehicle. That sounds really fun and cool. I almost built the Hydra and that was almost sick. Okay, that could be one. In fact, there's a really good chance of being one. Nope. From my experience, the boxes that contain rare stuff tend to be in very particular spots. And I've been doing an approximate lap of where those spots are. If there are ever any boxes down here... Okay, what do we got? Simple straight course. We're probably going to be a drag race. If there are ever any boxes down there, they're always... Oh, it's the fucking jet star. Hell yeah, I'm done with this thing. This thing is really good. Basically, it gets a boost, like a like a arrow boost, every single time it uh, takes flight. Ooh, which can be really really abusable. It also moves really fast on rails. Apart from that, it's not super special. It's kind of hard to control too. Green. It's really good for races. It won't be great for drag race, and this is almost certainly drag race. However, when it says stadium prediction, they're not always true. They're actually frequently wrong. Oh shit. The Dragoon and Hydra pieces will not always spawn. In fact, they generally won't. It feels like it's like a 1 and 2. Whoa! Secret chamber in Castle Hall! I'm on my way, baby. Can't tell the other Kirby's are going to. They're kind of just going all over the place. HP. No, apples. Shitty. I think there's a checkbox for getting a whole shit ton of food. Only two minutes remaining. No pieces. Looking like they didn't spawn this cycle. I've actually built both the Dragoon and the Hydra in a single play. But that doesn't happen very often at all. Let's go up here. I don't remember what's up here. Is there actual items up here? Well, there can be. I 
think there's a Chiba for flying through all the rings. Nice. Flight and this vehicle in general don't help me that much for a drag race. Whoa! Whoa! That did an ass ton. Oh my god, I just wanted my items back. Someone's vehicle broke. I could really use some food. Okay, some event. What is it? City Lighthouse is turned on. This is like the weirdest event. I think it just heals you if you're standing in it. Which I wouldn't mind. A lot of shit can happen. Uh, I could get in that wheelie scooter and then heal it. Which would have been a really good idea. Maxim. I remember the name of that star. Boost star. Top speed, literally one of the most useful. Really good flight on this thing. Ah. Oh. I ended up getting zero top speed. Everyone else's stats all look fairly modest. Drag race. So if there's jumps, then I'm gonna do really well. If there are no jumps, then I'm probably not going to win. I don't want the ability, but I do want to go directly behind people. So that speeds you up. You can kill them here too. Nice. I would have liked if someone did that to me. Oh my god. I think this is GG. Double sleep. Yeah, absolutely no jumps whatsoever in this drag race course. I'll give it one more go. I forgot you could set up here. It is very addicting, man. I intended to... I didn't even really want to do it once. It just ends very quickly. It's like, it's five minutes, but it, it flies by. It doesn't feel like five minutes. There's a scale replica of the city here. Sort of. Parts of the city. There's a lot of cute little weird novelties in City Trial. I guess I'll show them off. It feels like they had a lot of fun designing this map. Damn, I wanted that. There's rails all around the city too, and you can use those to quickly get around. That was a good box. Between two and four things in a box, or one and four. Damn it. Charge, charge, charge. Glide. Defense. It's offense. Wait, these are all things that help if it's a battle. The battle ones are all extraordinarily shitty. They could have done a lot better designing the way that combat works in this game. Put it like that.
Is that a red box? What was that? It was offense. I don't really want it or need it. I haven't gotten a new vehicle yet. You can see farther if you hop off your vehicle. You can see, like, vehicles that are really far away. Damn. I guess I can get on the Shadow Star. It's fucking dying, but... I'll be alright. Shadow Star is pretty good. You heal before the actual race, anyway. Shadow Star has a really, really good glide. Huge identified pillar. That's the monster, the Rex Wheelie. I would mind some food, please. I'm like still dying. Oh, someone busted it. Oh, fuck. I'm asleep. Alright, that went pretty well. Looted some stuff. Ended up being pretty good for me, all things considered. Oh, that was... That was spicy. Who needs turning, right? Oh my god. At least I'm healed. My turning is probably negative now. Pretty much guaranteed not to get um, combo stars, combo machines. Oh, this much time has passed and I haven't found a single piece. Even if they exist, I won't get them. Food is technically helpful. Swerve Star. I could get that and it would be helpful. It would be better than the vehicle I'm on. I don't know. I'm going to take my chance with the Shadow Star just for novelty. I've actually gotten a whole bunch of stuff. In terms of stuff collecting, I've been doing really well. Oh, that's... Okay, I still got it. Ah, motherfucker. Alright, GG. Oh, look at all that glide! Please let it be something flying. Please let it be high jump. Target flight. That's like the next best thing it could be. I'm gonna play it safe and grab the 50. I'm pretty fast. That's the Bulk Star. Bulk Star is the stupidest fucking star. There is no god on this world. You get two tries. Alright, I've got to go for the 100. There's no other play. The 100, depending on how fast you reach it, is occasionally impossible. Got it. That was by the fucking... That was by the... That was by the pixel. Lord. Lord. I actually came in first with that. <laughs> oh my god, I thought I did badly. I was up against 15. Man, I really want to build a vehicle. This is definitively my last one. And I'm, I might even just pull part way through if I don't find a piece in the first like couple minutes. Motherfucker. I don't know what they were thinking when they made the bulk star, honestly. It's very, very bad. Who needs defense? I 
occasionally there's an event that happens that turns all items into the same item. And that counts for... Like, you know, it's they're real items, they're not fake items or anything. Okay, this is very, very promising. Buffing both boxes causes the... Uh, it causes them to... Okay, nothing. It causes them to restart their um, takedown. Boxes eventually disappear, but if you bump them... Wee! 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 If you bump a box, it restarts the counter. This is one of the sillier items you can get. Sleep. I feel like I've gotten so many sleeps in the last, like, few levels. I feel like almost every opportunity I've had to get a sleep, I've gotten a sleep. Okay, it's looking really bad for red box collection. Like, really bad. I might do that thing I said I would do where I restart. Damn, I got two Hydra pieces the first attempt. I got all overconfident. I just had this idea that it would, like, happen. All easily and shit. Some dickhole other Kirby. Grabbing pieces. It's so hype building a legendary machine. I just really want it to happen. Damn it, I want to get on top of that. That's what she said. That's what he said about her. That's what I said about her. Yeah, I'm not seeing this happening. The compact star is ironically not a bad star. They didn't do a they didn't do a sufficiently good job making it shitty. A lot of the little chivos in this are um, destroy so and so star is so and so other star, which is a bit silly. It's like oh, get the bulk star and then use it to destroy the fucking shadow star, or like something like that. Hamburger. I like hamburger. We are deep into the territory of there's no shit here. Offensive power might be the ticket. So this promises to be a really shitty one, I'll tell you that. Uh, I guess I could spend the rest of the time just looking for a good vehicle with offensive power. And before it's versus DDD and we all lose. Um, let's see what we got. There's the turbo. There's a wheelie bike. Neither of those sound really good at all. See what we can see from over here. We got a whole bunch of nothing. Where are all the vehicles? I died? What was this vehicle? Well, GG, dude. I had like full health, didn't I? He must have like a shit ton of offense. Which Kirby was that? Did anyone see the color? You're automatically put on a compact star if the time runs out. And you're not on a vehicle. But the wheelie bike would be better than the compact star, I guess. Although it's looking kind of unlikely that I'm going to be able to get over there. This is going to be a fucking buzzer beater. Um, so the guy who bumped me might have been that guy on the turbo star. Oh, look at all the offense everyone else has. And my defense, I don't know, it was okay. I had no HP. Destruction Derby. More like Destruction Kirby. These ones are really shitty, honestly. Those things are really busted for this. Oh my god. MLG. 
destroyed myself. Alright, they really busted as long as you put them down and then go away. There we go. So that might count as kills for me. I don't remember if SDs count against you at all. I feel like they don't. That guy's got low HP. Damn it. Corridors are good. Oh shit. Someone broke that and I didn't see. That doesn't even kill you. It just sent me to one. That killed me. I'm probably not going to win this. Get the mic. Oh no, I can't. I don't have glide. I only have jump. So because I wasn't holding up when I walked off the edge there. Fuck. It's not a good look. Why sleep? No! Fuck. I don't think I win. Okay, I've got three kills. Fuck me. This is GG, dude. I've lost. Nice. God, I got a kill somehow, somewhere or another. The cannons are really good. But, time right now. I came in first. I tied for first. Man, whatever. Um, do I actually wanna... Am I done with this game? Do I actually wanna try and get 100 checkboxes? I kinda wanted to just do every mode. Just show it off. That's a little bit of fun.